5050, the newest mod by Bruce Kelt, right here, right now. Greetings Petalheads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to the mod mod world where we test different mods for different sims to see if they add to our enjoyment. Thanks for watching, my name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. Bruce and Romrom Rom are for sure mutual fans. We almost always love his mods and he contacts Serta regularly with his newest production. This time it's the Dodge Charger used by some police forces in the US with a twist as it's in fact four mods in one. Twice the car version with a V6 motor in rear wheel drive and front wheel drive configurations and twice the version with a V8 motor also with both drive configurations. As was to be expected, this mod looks excellent from the in and the outside and for those who want to play cops and robbers in the sim, it even uses the police light, at least if you have the custom shader patch and the horn is a police siren. But we don't do that, we're a serious channel. <laughs> you can also use other skins without the police markings, but where's the fun in that? We want to go wee woo wee woo. Oh, and there is one slight error in the left side of the front frame of the windshield. Bruce said that, as it's not visible from far away, he won't correct it. Fair enough. Again, as it was to be expected, the mod has very good force feedback. The feeling of driving such a car comes through very well. There is definitely a difference between the versions in the way they handle and of course their speed and torque. Interestingly enough, the most stable version for me was the V6 rear wheel drive. It felt planted while the worst for me was the V8 rear wheel drive. All in all, I got a great feeling of the car and I surely felt the differences. The AI drives quite well, but it was easy for me to be ahead of the V6 cars while I even was ahead of many of the V8 cars with my own V6. If you want to have a challenge, you might want to get into the V6 and race against V8s is what I'm saying. There was a bug in the sound design, sometimes the sound did grow very loud, at least in some places, and it did sound as if only parts of the motor did so. This is what it did sound like. Bruce corrected this issue so that the sound is now much better, and you'll know if you're driving a V6 or V8 also by the sound. Because this is a pack with four different cars, there is a little bit of everything for everyone here. With regards to torque, to behavior, to sound, while the basis is still the same car, Bruce has shown his grip of physics in Assetto Corsa once again, and you will clearly notice the differences between the cars. Beginners will enjoy the V6 as it's very stable and forgiving of errors, experienced racers, on the other hand, will have fun with the raw power of the V8, and everyone can go and test the different versions of this car, which all look alike but feel oh so different. Once again, a nice mod and a nice package from Bruce, but we didn't expect less, of course. And don't expect less in our channel than the joy of sim racing, which you'll have if you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup, and we'll see each other on the podium.